In 1974 Baddeley and Hitch proposed a working memory model that replaced the general concept of short-term memory with an active maintenance of information in the short-term storage. In this model, working memory consists of three basic stores, the central executive, the phonological loop and the visual spatial sketchpad. In 2000 this model was expanded with the multimodal episodic buffer. The central executive essentially acts as an attention sensory store. It channels information to the three component processes, the phonological loop, the visual spatial sketchpad, and the episodic buffer. The phonological loop stores auditory information by silently rehearsing sounds or words in a continuous loop. The articulatory process, for example the repetition of a telephone number over and over again. A short list of data is easier to remember. The visual spatial sketchpad stores visual and spatial information. It is engaged when performing spatial tasks, such as judging distances, or visual ones, such as counting the windows on a house or imagining images. The episodic buffer is dedicated to linking information across domains to form integrated units of visual, spatial, and verbal information and chronological ordering, for example, the memory of a story or a movie scene. The episodic buffer is also assumed to have links to long-term memory and semantical meaning. The working memory model explains many practical observations such as why it is easier to do two different tasks, one verbal and one visual, than two similar tasks, for example, two visual, and the aforementioned word length effect. However, the concept of a central executive as noted here has been criticized as inadequate and vague. Working memory is also the premise for what allows us to do everyday activities involving thought. It is a section of memory where we carry out thought processes and use them to learn and reason about topics.